And as the days count down to the first GOP presidential debate, former President Donald Trump is gearing up for another potential indictment. The grand jury looking into efforts to overturn the 2020 election is expected to meet this week. At the same time, his rivals are preparing for the debate and hunting for more votes. NBC's Alice Barr has the details. The 2024 presidential election and Republican frontrunner Donald Trump's legal troubles on a collision course today. The former president traveling to New Orleans for a fundraiser, one of at least three campaign events this week. Save our country, make America great again. At the same time, the federal grand jury focused on January 6th could soon potentially hand up the most serious indictment yet against the former president in connection to the deadly Capitol attack and efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Mr. Trump received a target letter citing three federal statutes, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government. That signals that the, the prosecution team is pretty much at the investigative end game. The Trump team fundraising off the former president's mounting legal troubles, just as a new Monmouth University poll shows 69 percent of Republican voters think Mr. Trump is the strongest candidate to beat President Biden. Republican opposition running new anti-Trump ads in Iowa. It's just time for new blood. As GOP rivals struggle to break through, 37-year-old entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy starting to climb. My parents came to this country with almost no money. I've gone on to found multi-billion dollar companies. He's one of seven Republican candidates to qualify for next month's debate, with billionaire North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum the latest to earn his spot. Former Vice President Mike Pence has yet to meet strict fundraising requirements, struggling to gain traction and compete with his former boss. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.